Hello and welcome to Key Design for 3D Printing. Um, today we're just going to discuss a simple way of creating a key and a tumbler to fit together and in future videos we'll show how to make potential locking mechanisms. Of course this would be more based for puzzle boxes, not an actual lock as 3D printing is not strong enough for that, but hopefully it'll give you some ideas to try out. So this here is just going to be a simple skeleton key that we're going to utilize for that. As you can see it looks very traditional like at a cartoon. Nothing too crazy. And the, what we're going to fit it into is what's called a tumbler. So this is the tumbler itself. And it's very simple. It looks complicated, but it's actually very simple. As uh, it'll be together in a, an assembly. And let's just take a quick section view to take a look on the inside. So as you can see, the key will go down straight through and it has a intersection point here that the key will sit in and then it can rotate and stop on so it has a bit of a stop here and we'll take a look at that when we look at the assembly portion but essentially this opening here is going to be 15 thou smaller than that cutaway that we have height wise so that it can the key can rotate around in that spot and then stop against here so this is one way of creating a key where it wouldn't be able to pull up and um, hopefully that gives you an idea of how that would work on that portion. But let's take a look at what it would look like as an assembled piece. So this is what it'll look like. Uh, this is just the body that would be holding the tumbler together. So you just put four screws in potentially and um, it's not going to really lock anything outside of the key itself. So if we just hide this portion for a bit and take a look at how this key would actually go in here and all that. So the first portion we're going to take a look at is the key will slide straight in this way until it hits the bottom. And then the next portion is what's going to happen is once you have that sli slit in there, the next thing you're going to do is you'd be able to rotate the key keyway and as you can see there'll be no interference with the part with in any of the parts that are in here so the one question that'll probably be asked is how did I get this arc so that it doesn't interfere with the key so we're gonna go back to the tumbler itself and we're gonna take a look at a sketch that's gonna allow us to take a look at this. So in this sketch you can see a couple different circles and some arcs. So the way that, that I did this is I first made a line that is matching up with the size of the, the key itself where it's going to rotate and you can see this circle here is touching this corner here and it's matching up with this corner here. So that's the arc of the key. Next what I did is I took the 16th of an inch, which is the depth of the key um, cutout that is on the, the cutaway there. I'll just go back to the key here, this cutaway here. And I brought that in and I made a circle. So that's the arc of the cutout. Next, what I did is I made it a line that's 15 thou from that circle away. And then that made this distance here. So then when I extruded that down, you can see that it came straight down and then I actually had another piece I just had to extrude out, which I probably could have added to the other sketch, but sight and sight. Uh, and then that's what's going to allow you to have this movement where you can see it's not going to interfere with anything. So that's one way of making a key keyway so that it can turn and rotate. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, this is Tyler with 3D Printer Store, and I hope you have a great day.